What's going on everyone? It's Greg. I am back with Watcher of Realms and today we have some patch notes and some codes. You can get 300 diamonds. Let's go ahead and knock out those codes. You go to your player profile, your settings, redeem code. And our first one is WORFB fans 20k. It's Watcher of Realm Facebook fans 20k. We get 20k there. Next is WORYTBF a n s 5k that's watcher of realms youtube fans 5k so we hit 5k on there finally we hit 10k on discord that's w o r d c fans 10k and that will give you a total of 300 diamonds and this only lasts through the 13th of august so keep that in mind then real quick let's take a quick look at well, kind of like patch notes so to speak but it's really telling you what's coming up in the next content patch so yes we've only been out for two weeks on global we have a content patch coming keep in mind some of this content has been out on the beta server um, i believe they call it the forerunner server and so some of this you can find some content content out there especially from my bucket um I, I refer to his content a lot a uh, great youtuber his information is in the description and you can see here we have new strategic exploration mode, the Void Rift. Um, I think I've seen that on his channel. So you'll be able to leave camp, wander, map out worlds on the back of an undead horse. Get ready for stages with random buff debuff mechanics that add twist and spice up the game. So this is cool. It's going to be like an even more strategic piece of it. I feel like the game itself is still tr strategic as it is. Um, there's nothing that's really set and forget except like the Tide, which we don't want to talk about Tide. I'll make a separate video on that. But the rest of the game is awesome. Like even it, it could come down to placing your unit one second later to to win a level if you want to play it that way. I mean, you can just power up and get through it eventually with raw power. But I've been having a lot of fun trying to figure little things out. Anyway, this is going to be another mode where you get like a little bit of free movement. Uh, you click around on the map and you can move around and you select which enemies you want to go for. Of course, I'm sure there's probably areas that are blocked and things like that and then there's random goodies around the map and of course overall just more rewards from this so that's cool i'm ready for that then we have new stages campaign chapter seven spectral rift we have the spectral rift for chapter six and that's part of the um initial story line that we have to do with those sub stories and you can see here then there's another one for um special or spectral rift 8-4 and so it's saying complete in campaign chapter eight. We, of course, <laughs> don't have those yet. It doesn't mean we're getting them in August. It looks like we're getting chapter seven first, which makes sense. Um, I'm kind of kind of surprised this wasn't chapter seven because we did have chapter six. And that's the one that everyone has access to if you get that far in the campaign. So you should be able to um, get an idea of what that's like just by playing through the one in chapter six. So we'll get a harder one in chapter seven. Uh, some more rewards there. Then we have new artifacts coming. I barely have a grip on the current artifacts. Um, I'm, I'm actually making my way to where I can farm the red uh, artifact shard things to um, to summon them. But uh, I'm not quite far enough to really pump a lot of stamina in that. But we have some more mythical artifacts coming. So hey, the more the merrier, I guess. Optimizations. Friends list uh, or friendship perfected when given the friends system a complete. Oh, we, we've given it a complete makeover, enhancing its functionality and visual appeal for a more engaging experience. I mean, this is cool. It's kind of hard to figure it out right now, really, kind of like what's the point. It'd be nice to have one of those little things where you can like give stamina or something to to friends um get a reward things like that um it's it's also a little bit hard right now to really understand who i want to add to my friends list because you know you want some stronger units on there i haven't really made use of the assist feature much um not to the point where it's had me come in clutch on something um but hey it'd be nice to to have a little bit more information um straight off the bat instead of having like click through everything um but we'll see how that looks um i'm, I'm looking forward to that uh, number two, gear control made easy. Experience and enhanced rewards uh, obtaining interface with advanced features such as gear locking, unlocking, and selling. Take full control of your valuable gear and unleash your its true, true potential with ease. Man, I think that, again, this was a feature on the beta server. I think I've seen this on uh, some videos. So, yeah, I saw where someone was clicking. I think it was my bucket. And clicking and selling a piece of gear straight from the reward screen. Um that would be a very nice feature i haven't quite got to the point where i'm making decisions on what i'm keeping and selling but um that would be a nice to have 
Keep in mind that actual update content is subject to potential changes based on the implementation plan. Stay connected with our community and in-game announcements for the latest updates. So, like I said, you can find some content on this stuff that's coming out because it was in beta. That being said, they probably make some tweaks. Uh, we'll probably might see some differences there, so it might not match up completely. But I mean, that's the good thing. We know that this has already been tested by players, um, and so it, it's nice to know that it, it's been through the ringer as it is, and we got that content coming in a more polished manner. Gotta say, guys, I'm loving the game. Let me know what you guys think of the game down in the comments. Um, I mean, I'm just loving it so much it made me want to make some more content. Um, so I don't know. I just have a blast. Um, even laying in the bed, the fact that I can just switch back and forth between the iPhone and the computer. Oh gosh, God's saying I don't know what's going on with games these days. Why that's not that doesn't seem to be the norm. Um, we should have crossplay pretty consistent now. I mean, we we know Android is here. We know iOS is here. We know PCs are here. Why is crossplay not more common? Either way. Watcher of Realms is knocking it out of the park. I'm ready for the weekend's uh, summon event. I hope you guys are. Um, you know, I like collecting up my summons throughout the week. I mean, even since the last event, I already got another 45 and, of course, more gems to go. Um, so, hey, the game is quite generous um, for free-to-play. I'm not necessarily free-to-play, but, hey, it, I'm, not, I'm not doing much in here. Uh, mostly on stamina and stuff, trying to get some six-star heroes. Either way, I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.